I don't believe that in order for you to be that girl you have to do only Pilates or only yoga. Life is not 24-7 aesthetic. Hello my friends, I am currently getting ready because I'm going to get a haircut today. Even though going at the hair salon is not something that I really enjoy, but I have been going to a different hair salon now and it's better. I mean, it's not a big deal, I just feel bored to sit at a place for a long time, even though I don't do much to my hair, so I don't spend that much time in the hair salon. But I am going to do a quick light makeup because it's also very warm outside, so I don't want to sweat everything off. But I decided to film a vlog for you today and it's going to be just a day in my life, but with a little twist. I decided to call this my that girl day in my life, just because I wanted to wake up earlier today because I also have this appointment but I still have work to do afterwards so I had to book this appointment a bit early and also I normally don't work out in the mornings but today I decided to do something that wouldn't be very hard and stressful for my body so I didn't work out with my dumbbells. I chose to do a Pilates workout and I think that that girl is normally doing some sort of Pilates workout or bar workout I think they're called or yoga. So I said since I am going to film a that girl day in my life why not do a that girl workout? I enjoy doing Pilates but I don't do it regularly. I normally work out with my dumbbells here at home. Those dark circles just need some help today. They are very dark, so let's lighten up these eyes. But that's what's going on so far. I will just finish getting ready. I'm also in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> 
and I will go get a haircut and I think that afterwards I'm going to go to pharmacy to pick up some some of my skincare and a hair shampoo because I'm running low and I don't really want to order online because if I'm not going out I will probably just order what I need online, but since I will be out, it will be convenient. Also, I feel like I'm being very aggressive with my skin and that brush. I am in a rush, that's why. Let's finish up this makeup and let's go get a haircut. Because my hair needs some trimming ASAP. What is this? That's not cute. You gotta change that. Also, I know that a lot of people don't like the that girl trend, but for me, being that girl means to be the best version of yourself and to try to be a strong, healthy woman. That's how I see it. I don't believe that. In order for you to be that girl, you have to do only Pilates or only yoga or only drink green smoothies and lemon water. I believe that you can lift weights, you can go running, you can have a balanced diet with healthy, nutritious foods and sweets and anything else you like. So for me, being that girl is being a girl who prioritizes her physical and mental health without restricting and without obsessing over anything. So I also wanted to mention that because I know that some people don't really get along with that trend, but I think if we look at it a bit differently, there is nothing to be mad about or triggered about. Also my concealer always creases, probably because I don't know how to do my makeup. Okay, I will also apply some lip balm and I'm good to go. I need to also take my hair out of these braids and we gotta go. Do you see how red I am? Red? Like a tomato, it is unbearably hot outside. I will take a quick breath and I will show you what I picked up at the pharmacy. But let's see the hair. Okay, so when I left from the hairdressers, my hair was wet. I asked her to not dry my hair because it's hot outside so they could dry on their own. But now that they're dry, I feel like we could have cut a bit more. I mean, I showed her when my hair was dry how much I wanted her to cut, but I think she's afraid to cut my hair and she keeps it longer than I ask because this is the second time that I go to this hair salon and it is the second time that the hairdresser leaves my hair very long, but it's okay. I could have asked her to dry it, I could have checked, but you know what, it's okay. Now I think I will go to cut it again at the beginning of next year because I already went twice this year and if you know me i am the type of person who cuts her hair only once a year so to cut it twice that's a lot that's a lot you know what i feel like i took a breather let's do a drugstore haul let's do that all right let's see what i picked up it's not a lot because i didn't need that much i only got some of my go-to skincare products and a hair shampoo that i needed my all-time favorite shampoo is this one from apivita but this has celery and propolis in it so it does have natural ingredients i don't know if it is 100 natural i don't think that it is but i have been using it for years and it is a very good hair shampoo and the two other products that i got are both skincare so i got my new favorite cleanser the tolerian from la roche posay i am not already done with the previous bottle that i have but i'm almost done and because i didn't want to run out and i love this product so much i got another bottle too a very big nice bottle even though i double cleanse when i use that during the nighttime in the morning if i cleanse which i normally do i just do one pump and i will share also the prices with you i think it's nice to hear prices in different countries and the prices that they have you know and the last product that i got is my all-time favorite moisturizer i use this for my face neck and Decolleté, is that how it's called? The chest area. It's also for your body as well, but for the body I use a different one, but I love it. It is super hydrating. It doesn't cause any irritations. Also, this doesn't have any fragrance. This doesn't have any fragrance. I think that it took me a while to figure out my skincare, but I'm pretty sure that I will keep on using these products for a long, long time. So the shampoo was seven euros and two cents. The face wash was 11.40 and the moisturizer was 11.42. Not, not 42. It was 
as well but i got a big size they also had a smaller one but that is my little drugstore pharmacy haul now i need to change i feel like i need a shower i am sweating these clothes need to be washed because i also took the bus okay time to change freshen up and i will have to sit down and do some work because i haven't done any work so far today so let's do that <music> much later and it's time for me to cook what I'm going to cook now I'm going to have as lunch and we will also have it for dinner or I might eat something else for dinner because I might go to my family's house and if I go my mom has cooked something that is very delicious it's a vegetable stew and if I end up going to my family's house I will probably get a plate for myself to have tonight but anyways we need to have some food in the apartment I am going to make chicken burgers this is one of our go-to meals in this household. I cook that pretty much every week. So I have the minced chicken in here, but the ingredients that I'm going to add in my minced chicken are mustard, dried thyme, some turmeric, a couple of zucchinis, an egg, garlic, onion, dried spearmint, salt, pepper, paprika, and a tomato. I also sometimes add peppers too and for the vegetables because I want them to be very very well cut I will use my mixer so I will use this oats in the mix. I forgot to mention that. Just made myself my go-to snack. So I have almonds, walnuts, dark chocolate and an apple. But I'm already very hungry and the chicken burgers are of course not ready. I just put them in the oven. So we'll have this little snack. I will continue work. And I will see you again once lunch is ready. I am ready to have my lunch. So these are the chicken burgers and I'm going to have them with some rice. But I'm going to enjoy my lunch. I'll probably watch a couple of YouTube videos and I will continue editing. But unfortunately, I don't have any vegetables left to make a side salad. They're good. It's a bit later and I came back from my family's house. I had dinner, I did my skincare. Yes, I picked up that veggie stew that my mom made. She also had made homemade bread, which was delicious. So I had my dinner, did my skincare, and now I'm about to do a little bit of reading and I wanted to share with you the book that I'm currently reading, which is Happy Place by Emily Henry. So far, it looks good, interesting. I'm not really into the story quite yet. And this is my first time reading a book from Emily Henry. I know that she has other good books that have very good reviews too but this is actually the first time that I read something from her but there is a review up here from one of my favorite authors from Taylor Jenkins Wright there is also another review here from Colin Hoover I know that Colin Hoover has a lot of books and a big following too but I have realized that there are mixed opinions about her books I personally have never read any of her books because from a quick look that I have given to her books Books, I think that they are not my cup of tea. I mean, it's better to read a book to judge, but I feel like the storylines are not something that I would necessarily enjoy. Let me know what book are you currently reading, if you are reading any books currently. Also, would you like me to share more book updates in my videos and more book content? I'm definitely not a book channel, but I really love reading and books and I really like following YouTubers that also read and share books and what they're currently reading so let me know if you would like me to also share what I'm reading and more book content but I'm just going to read a few pages of this book I'll probably watch 
an episode of Gilmore Girls or Friends and I will call it a night because it's getting late and I'm getting sleepy and let's not forget that I woke up quite early which I don't normally do I don't wake up that early so that would be all for my that girl day in my life you see that I didn't do anything complicated or super out of the ordinary but I want you to know that you are also that girl if you're waking up every day and you're trying your best and you're working towards your goals and you're working hard you have maybe your school college your job your family I'm sure you're doing your best so give yourself some credit about that and you don't need to wear a cute workout set to be that girl or to do Pilates or to do yoga or to drink green smoothies you don't need to do any of that to be that girl in my eyes like I said in the beginning of the video that girl means trying to be the best version of yourself to prioritize your mental and physical health without trying to be picture perfect, super aesthetic and extreme. There is nothing wrong with romanticizing your life, I'm all about that. But let's be real, life is not 24-7 aesthetic and romantic and picture perfect. So please try to not feel bad when you see all this content about that girl and about healthy girl and all these videos that we YouTubers film or on TikTok or on Pinterest because there are days that I personally won't work out. There are days that I might feel off and I want to just lay down, have snacks and just watch a show. There are days that I'm not going to be that productive. Not every single day can be the same but as long as we try our best and we work hard towards our goals and we also allow ourselves to rest, we are that girl. I wanted to close off today's vlog with that. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me so please click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! We used to have each other's playlists No, no we Used to be each other's best friends Yeah now we go our separate pathways, but your heart